Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on, is it a function? Our objectives today are that you will create and interpret mapping diagrams, and that you will determine if relations are functions. The question I'd like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson is, what strategies can you use to determine if a relation is a function? First, we need to understand inputs and outputs. An input is the value you put into an equation, most often referred to as the x value. An output is the value you get after evaluating with the input, most often referred to as the y value. We see inputs and outputs organized as an ordered pair. x, or our first value, is our input and our second is our output y. They are in parentheses and separated by a comma. Ordered pairs show the relationship between an input and an output, and this relationship is what we're going to focus on today. A relation defines the relationship between inputs and outputs. Anytime you see a list of ordered pairs, that is a relation. You could also see it in the form of a table. This table shows a relation between inputs that are paired with specific outputs. So we could interpret this line item as the ordered pair 0, 1. Or this ordered pair can be entered into a table when x is 1, y is 3, showing the relationship between the input 1 and the output 3. Here's our next ordered pair, 2, 5, and then 3, 7, written as an ordered pair. There's a third way we can show a relationship. We can use a mapping diagram. A mapping diagram shows a set of inputs and a set of outputs. Each set is usually listed in numerical order from least to greatest. So least at the top to the greatest on the bottom, least to greatest. And then, using an arrow, you map the relationship to show what input pairs to what output. So if we look at this mapping diagram, this first entry, 0 maps to 1, which could be written as the ordered pair 0, 1. The input 1 maps to 3. That's written as the ordered pair 1, 3. Input 2 maps to 5 written as the ordered pair 2, 5. And here we have our last one, 3 maps to 7, ordered pair 3, 7. So three ways to show a relationship. There are more, but we start with a list of ordered pairs, which we've also used a table, and now we're introducing a mapping diagram. Now let's talk about reading a mapping diagram. We're going to identify the ordered pairs in the mapping diagram. So again, we have our set of inputs and our set of outputs, and we can see that they're all mapped. So we're going to follow these mappings to write our ordered pairs. So again, this shows a relationship between inputs and outputs. So our first ordered pair, negative 1, maps to 3. And so negative 1, comma 3, in parentheses. So when x is negative 1, the input, the output is 3. Now let's look at our second. 0 maps to negative 5. 0, negative 5. 0 also maps to 0. So 0 maps to two different outputs. And then our last is 1, and it maps to negative 1. So 1, negative 1, written as an ordered pair. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video and identify the ordered pairs in the mapping diagram. Please come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So again, we have our relationship, our set of inputs, and our set of outputs. And our first input, 2, maps to 7. So in parentheses, 2, comma, 7. Our second input is 5, and it first maps to 11. So 5, comma, 11. Then 5 also maps to 20. 
5 comma 20. And the input 9 maps to 16, 9, 16, written as an ordered pair. Now we're going to determine if a relation is a function. So a function is a relation that pairs each input with exactly one output. So I'm going to show you two ways today to determine if a relation is a function. The first way is to use a mapping diagram. Now, we are given the definition again. These are both relationships because they're showing a set of inputs that map to a set of outputs. So both of these are mapping diagrams that show a relationship or a relation. We're wanting to know if the relations are functions. So all of these input output sets are relations, but not all relations are functions. So we're going to go back to our definition. A function is a relation that pairs each input with exactly one output. So input negative 1 maps to 3. It has one specific output. 0 maps to negative 5, and it maps to 0. So because 0 has two different outputs, it fails the function test when we look at the mapping diagram because it does not have exactly one output. The input 0 has two different outputs. So therefore, since it has two different outputs, this is not a function. It's a relation, it shows a relationship, but it is not a function. Let's look at the second one. Zero maps to one output, one maps to one output, two maps to one output, and three maps to one output. So we can say that each input pairs to exactly one output Therefore, yes, this relation is a function. Your turn. I would like you to determine if these relations are functions. Go ahead and pause the video here and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and look. Input to one output. Input, one output. Input, one output. So therefore, since each input maps to exactly one output, yes, this is a function. Let's look at our second one. 2 maps to one output. 5 maps to 11 and 5 maps to 20. So we've failed. This is not a function because the input 5 maps to two outputs, 11 and 20. So therefore, no, this relation is not a function. Now let's talk about the vertical line test. This is another way to determine whether or not a relation is a function. So every graph shows a relationship. So if we use the vertical line test, what we're looking for is if any vertical line passes through more than one point on a graph, then the graph does not represent a function. It'll represent a relation, a relationship between inputs and outputs, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a function. So if I bring on a vertical line here, it overlaps here. It crosses through every single point. So this fails the vertical line test and is not a function. So a vertical line is the only line that is not a function. All other lines will be a function. And here's why. So this blue line is going to be the vertical line I use to do my test. So watch as it travels across the graph. As it travels across the graph, it only ever passes through one point on the line. So you can use this if you're looking at it with a uh, computer or with a piece of paper. You can take your pencil or your pen and go from left to right holding your pen vertically. And if it ever crosses more than one point on the graph, then it fails the vertical line test. If any time you travel across, it only passes through one point, then yes, it is a function since it passes the vertical line test. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use the vertical line test on these two graphs and determine if the relation is a function. Please pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to do the vertical line test. So here's my vertical line that I've put on here. You can imagine your pen or pencil. You can imagine there are several places if I pass this vertical line across, it's going to pass through multiple points. 
So it passes through this point on the graph and this point on the graph. Therefore, it fails the vertical line test because it passes through more than one point on the graph at the same time. Now let's look at this graph. This graph is actually the graph of an absolute value. And when we go ahead and do our vertical line test, I know that went by fast, but if you used your pencil, it would only ever pass through one point on the graph at a time. So therefore, yes, this is a function because it passes the vertical line test. All right, let's try another one. I want you to determine whether these graphed relations are functions. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So let's use our vertical line test. So when I do that, I can see that when I pass my vertical line over this point, it also passes through this point. So this vertical line passes through two points, and this, therefore, that fails the vertical line test, and this relation is not a function. Let's look at our second one. So watch the video as it goes across. That one fails, and here we go. So it goes pretty fast, but one point, one point, one point, one point, one point, one point. So it passes the vertical line test, and it is a function. So there you have it. That's how you determine if the graph is a relation and a function. So remember, all graphs are relations. All mapping diagrams or tables or ordered pairs show a relationship, but not all relations are functions. So thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.